Hey everyone, Mr. Ball BC here with another Minecraft skin tutorial. This one is about a skin site that I did for my first one called Minecraft All well, the Skin Decks. So let's go to the skin decks. Well the first time that I did a tutorial for this, they were it was a completely different site. They made a major update sometime. I have no idea when, but basically here's what it looks like. You have the home page, which has all the latest and top skins. It has the top skins, it has the latest skins. You can see recent comments on skins, that's something I added. Um, they added an editor, which is mainly what I want to show you here. You can upload skins once you log in, you can archive, and I have no idea what that thing is, so I'm not going to look at it yet. You can check it out on your own time. The archive, you can find anything that was on the old site, like the site that I showed you in the first video. That is in the archive. You can search whatever skin. I have a couple skins in there. Um, I mainly came here to show you the editor, but just to show you how to download things from this new site, it's pretty simple. Here, this thing shows you it shows you the background, what your skin will look like. You can turn around with the left. But you can upload to Minecraft.net. You can download to your computer. You can add it to wardrobe. Wardrobe is something that you have to use when you sign up and log in. It basically saves the skin for you for future use. Um, you can vote on it. It has no vote so far. Um, you can log in to comment on it, like saying, oh, I love the skin, or you can change this and that. Um, you can edit the skin. And what you can do, the editor, let me show you. So I'm going pretty quickly. It's just because I've done this two times before. It's just been... Well, anyway, here's the editor. Editor, I love this editor. So I, I did a tutorial on another editor, MinorShoes.com, and that one is great and all, but there are parts of it that are very difficult, like, it makes it difficult for me to use. So, like, say, you know, I, I just want to edit this face. Like, pumpkin, great, but I kind of want to make it mine. One of the cool things about this, okay, so you can zoom in, zoom in and out, move around with the left, just move it around like that. Now, one of the cool things has a grid here, so you can see right where it is. You can zoom in on it, and you can edit every last detail. So, move it around like this. Okay. Oops. You have to be careful about that. Make sure you click in the center, just so you can get exactly what you want. I want blue. Okay, so, let me just do this. There we go. Go on the other side. Make sure you click away from the body so something like that doesn't happen. But of course you can always just undo it, which is an awesome feature that every editor should have. You can auto-tone, not sure what that thing does. You can undo, redo, you can pick a color, there. You can erase, so it'll just erase, get rid of the entire block there, so you'd have to put in another one, like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, ooh, yeah, I was in the race mode, that's why. Um, yeah, so that, you can do that. You can darken the colors, you can lighten the colors. Now, the reason why I prefer this over Meyer Shoes is because, um, on Meyer Shoes, you could be trying to move around the character over on this side, and then you accidentally go over here to select a color, and next thing you know, you have a huge streak right across your entire character, which is always just a pain to deal with, especially if you have to like go to each arm and replace everything. But with this, because you can just remove the certain things, you can just do whatever you, whatever you want to deal with it. Oops, you want to highlight. Now, see this thing? It has the helmet there, so you can edit the helmet that goes around. Um, you can turn off and on the grid to see what your guy will look like. Um, it also has these features here where you can like see all different forms of your guy. Um, you can log in to you can sign up and log into this to upload it to the skin decks, and yours is included with the thousands upon thousands of skins that are there. Or you can download to your computer. It'll download to your whatever fo whatever folder it downloads to, and then from there you can go to Minecraft.net profile and then upload your skin, change your skin, blah blah blah. You can upload an image from your, a skin from your computer and edit it here. Um, so, like, you could download this 
um, default Steve skin uploaded to here. You can edit everything you want on it. Or if you already have a pre-made skin and you just want to touch up a few things on, you can also edit it here. Um, this is a completely free site. Everything, everything's great, really. Um, so, if this has helped you in any way, um, then, oops, want that open. Yeah, so if this has helped you in any way, uh, leave a like. If you have any further questions that weren't, like, how to do something, you're still a little confused, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer your question and try and help you in the best way, in the best I can. And, um, for everything, this is Mr. Ball and BC. Also, um, the music that's playing in the background, that is, um, music by the Crafted Music 2 album by Francois Francis Melois, I think. I'm not too sure how to say that name. Um, but I'll leave a link to where you can get it from, um, a link to the site, a link to the other video, everything that you'll need. Any links will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and hope it helped. Mr. Ball and BC saying just see you in the next one.